muting myself. I, if you can invite them to speak for at the beginning, so I can catch up. <laughs> catch up with what? With my questions. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> We are <clears throat> Ringo. We thank you for the invitation to this particular communication, to this particular communion. You may have realized even within your, if you will, recent time, that in many different ways, the energy, the intensity, the frequency, of course, is in a sense increasing. This, however, also, if you will, including the idea of your connections to any and all other aspects of yourself. You may, in a way, experience this also, temporarily, in a sense, as some type of disease, some type of, if you will, cleansing processes. For you can understand that, in a sense, still for many, many of you, before, if you will, the idea of more and more, in that sense, open contact may occur, or in accordance with, if you will, the increase in the frequency and the bandwidth of contact, whether it is intuitively through channeling states or whether it is about, if you will, physical manifestations you can observe with your eyes. There are for many of you still, if you will, quite a few remnants, let us say, of negative belief systems to clean out and to clear out, which then in that sense may play themselves out also through these ideas, if you will, of altered bodily states which sometimes you may experience as this idea of a disease. Yet you can of course understand that these are always the only stepping stones. In truth, if you allow yourself to define them in this way, they actually allow you to accelerate yourself even so much more further. When of course you can understand, and in a sense this is quite a vital idea, to also accept any and all, if you will, so-called potentially, apparently, uncomfortable phenomenon, uncomfortable feelings, and if you will not withdraw your unconditional love you have for yourself within these states, but consciously, if you will, in particular within these states that you may deem uncomfortable, in a sense, bathe yourself within the light and within the love of your own unconditionality, which does then simply, once again, is the reflection, if you will, of the unconditional love that the one creator has for itself, that truly you have for yourself. So within these ideas, if you will, of the cleansing and of the increase of your own frequency, truly, if you will, of the refinement of the parallel earth reality that you inhabit, <clears throat> we ask how we may be of service this particular day of your time. <clears throat> Hello, and thank you. Thank you very much. You have answered. Um, questions that I didn't even have to ask. <clears throat> and, uh, Thank you for your synchronicity. <clears throat> and uh, I want to expand on that. I want to ask what kind of belief would that be that would, uh, that would uh, make us experience it in a negative way? Well, of course, the idea is that in truth, any and all type of negative belief may yield such a quote-unquote negative experience. 
of course you can understand the most simple idea is to observe yourself or whether you are judging yourself in any particular now no matter what potentially altered state you may find yourself in or whether you allow yourself consciously to also realize that that particular state equally is part if you will and parcel if you will of the one creation that you are <clears throat> can you understand <clears throat> yes yes i somewhat m missed the bit of it but i <clears throat> i got the picture <laughs> <clears throat> um so uh, would you give me some examples of the judgments or negative beliefs that that are doing uh, the negative well the first idea would simply be that you judge yourself in a sense of believing that you need to conform to anything within the outside anything that is not exactly or precisely in alignment with your own intuition and with whatever allows you to feel in love with yourself in any given now <clears throat> And equally also the idea of, which is of course related, the idea of believing that you need to quote unquote perform in a certain way in order to truly accept and love yourself. Yet through these, if you will, altered state, whatever they may be exactly, you may allow yourself to integrate the perspective that you can love yourself unconditionally in each and every now, no matter in that sense, what state you're inhabiting. <clears throat> That makes sense. Hmm. So I find myself in in a state where which is which is changing very rapidly <clears throat> from one to another. But uh, I realize that I can direct my energy and direct myself to the feeling that. Uh, I prefer so I'm doing that consciously uh, when I feel when something scares me for example then uh, I ask myself uh, what would I prefer to feel in a reaction to this uh, circumstance <coughs> or, or symbol or perception yes and, then I know and I'm coming back to the love. <clears throat> yes, turn a potentially, if you will, negative or judgmental reaction into an unconditionally loving response. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, so it's possible and I'm doing this more and more. And we thank you. <clears throat> yes. Thank you for, for uh, lighting, lightening this path before me so I can I can see that I'm going the right direction. <laughs> well you understand in many ways there are many different parallel realities. There are many in that sense, if you will, different pathways. Understand that while we, along with many other entities, may offer whatever we can share with you in order to assist you in, if you will, lightening up. At the same time understand of course, and we understand that you are aware of this idea. It is equally all about you yourself in that sense, what direction, let us say, you are facing. So truly, thank yourself for choosing the path that you prefer. What we are offering is simply that, is simply an option, is simply an idea that you can integrate for yourself. Yet, of course, as you very well know, all integration is entirely up to you. And in that sense, in many different ways, is entirely, if you will, your own effort, and in that sense, we could say, your own achievement. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> For once again, <clears throat> you understand that you can only perceive ideas that you actually are already on the frequency bandwidth of. So sometimes you may simply find within the apparent outside a somewhat more focused, somewhat more crystallized reflection of an idea that you already contain within yourself, yet allow yourself to manifest it in, if you will, a more intense, a more specified, a more crystallized fashion so that you can very clearly see where, if you will, this path may lead and whether within this amplification of the perception, this truly is the state, if you will, 
that you wish to approximate, or if this truly is the state, if you will, that you wish to switch into. So this is also in many ways how we are in that sense relaying different ideas from so-called higher self ideas, so-called future self ideas, also along with, if you will, at least some ideas about the different civilizations and the structures of reality and the perceptions that are had, if you will, within fourth density experiences. And we are simply doing this so you can very clearly, if you will, choose for yourself of whether and in what way these are paths that you also prefer for yourself. <clears throat> yes, thank you. While you were talking, uh, I was able uh, for the first time listen to every word and feel it. And uh, I feel very close to you. And I also got to the dream state somewhat. Uh, and I felt like we are standing close to each other. <clears throat> Well, of course, you can understand in many different ways, everything is here and now. So you can understand, even this is, if this is in a sense a euphemism, it is still, if you will, quite exact at the same time, that you are contained within the heart of creation. And the heart of creation, of all creation, of all that is, is contained within you. Yes, thank you. So in that sense, there is, one may say, no space between us in many different ways, from many different perspectives. That's beautiful. <clears throat> and also that it makes me feel uh, this little uncomfort in, I would say, root chakra. Uh, why, is, why, why would I feel that? Like, uh, I feel like we are coming out of one body Uh, just sticking our our, our uh, tor torsos or uh, top top of our bodies out of one spot, <laughs> and it 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 uh, comes a little bit uncomfortable to me. Why would that be? <clears throat> Can you, in some ways, describe the feelings you are having? <clears throat> well, I would I would. Uh, I would say it's like um, one body twins. I feel like that. One body twins? Yes. <coughs> Can you elaborate? <coughs> Two uh, twins, but uh, having one body together. <coughs> well, in many ways, you could even consider the idea that as you are now, as we had mentioned, more and more connecting with more and more aspects of yourself. Also how you yourself have, if, if you will, intuited and allowed yourself to channel. It is in that sense, in many different ways, actually, you could say not merely two aspects, but even many, many more aspects. For you can understand that now, as you are, if you will, more and more, even consciously, connecting to the idea of your own higher self. And in that sense, getting a feel for that level and also in many ways becoming more and more actually comfortable with this idea that then you come to realize that there are many many different aspects of yourself if you will that you are able to access within the now even from within if you will your current physicalized incarnation if you can catch our drift <clears throat> i see yes this this explanation made me uh, feel more comfortable being like one body twin with you and with all of you. <laughs> of course, ultimately, it is all only one body. And also here, you may relate the idea of any feeling of uncomfortability to some type of judgment and also to some type of belief in a separation, which may then yield, if you will, this idea of some resistance or some felt, if you will, blockage. <clears throat> yeah, so this can become my new normal state, you know, feeling like we are coming out of one body. <laughs> that, that's what I understood. <laughs> the idea is you certainly can ease into that state. And as you are constantly reconfigurating yourself, you may also, if you will, find different ways of how you can 
more and more aligned with these new levels and how you can, if you will, more and more streamline yourself in order to more and more enter the slipstream of your own synchronicity and your own connectivity to all that is. So then also, of course, eventually any of these, if you will, this is type ideas will be resolved within that process. <clears throat> I see. <clears throat> it is also here about simply accepting that state as another stepping stone, not assuming that it has to mean anything negative at all, but that it is simply another part of your own realignment and potentially also you simply now being even more conscious and even more precise about your own, if you will, energetic alignment. So you may, in that sense, feel the most minute, the smallest resistances much more clearly at this point. <clears throat> I see. So in a yeah. sense, you are progressing. It could even be said in different ways that this may even be used in many different ways to your own, let us say, quote unquote, advantage. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> I feel that. <clears throat> Yet, of course, how you know, as you know that everything is changing, also these states, if you will, after potentially some turbulence of entering, if you will, a new level of consciousness, a new level of understanding, the systems also within your own, if you will, physicalized incarnation, are reorganizing themselves. So after, if you will, a potential breaking or resistance point and some idea of a turbulence and a reorganization, also, your own system will find, if you will, a new equilibrium and a new idea of, quote unquote, a homeostasis on simply a larger level of yourself, a larger awareness of yourself. Yes, yes. And awareness is what I'm thinking of. I would like to be more aware of, of uh, you around me or not only you, entourage around me. Uh, I see that intent works, but is there is there uh, like simple way to break my belief that that I'm alone or or something like uh, realize that and know that <laughs> we can share if you will one very simple tool, <clears throat> also quite practical and quite playful. It can be quite fun and potentially exciting for you. Of course, you understand your imagination to be the conduit to your own higher mind and truly to all that you are. So in the same way, what you can allow yourself is simply imagine our presence or the presence of any idea of etheric aspect, any idea of your higher self, guardian angel, alien aspect that you wish. And even if you will picture that entity or that energy whatever form it may take in your mind's eye, or even then, if you will, with open eyes, imagine these entities that you wish to be in company with, even within your physicalized reality. <clears throat> Can you picture this idea? Yes, and uh, while I'm doing it, uh, um, I uh, realize there's, there might be a fear because for, first, uh, what I wanted to ask was, uh, when when I open myself to knowing that there are energies around me, uh, first, who, uh, what what came was some scary pictures. But uh, you you said immediately that no matter what form they take, <laughs> then I I realized that it might be you know just uh, communication from myself, my, it can be me in the, in the creature, you know. And Indeed, the idea is that you are now, if you will, just in a sense, slowly coming to familiarize yourself with the actual intensity and the actual energy, if you will, of your higher self aspect, which may then, if you will, seem scary for a moment. <clears throat> uh -huh. It is very much to do, if you will, with the idea that you may know from your own childhood, the idea of in many different ways, let us say, daydreaming. And what you can also combine, of course, with this approach is to, if you will, align yourself with 
also the emotional state that you prefer when you are within these ideas of mental imaginations. For of course, by now you understand how these ideas are very closely related and how while you can, if you will, quote unquote, mentally imagine anything you like, the actual choice of the particularized frequency and channel that you are tuning into is very much related to your own emotional state, as it is, of course, the energy in motion. <clears throat> I see. Yes. Yes. That makes perfect sense. <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, yes, it, I understand. I'm. I simply need to allow myself to ease into that. <laughs> Even here, you don't really need to do it, but you can allow yourself this option. Of course, there is no pressure in that regard. Again, if you can be truly discerning, there has to be no judgment also upon your current state, when you still feel that you are not as in ease yet. For the acceptance of that disease, as we had mentioned, is part of the process. <clears throat> yes, yes. You are a great reminder. Thank you. We thank you for reminding yourself. <clears throat> <sighs> Yes, I want to continue a little bit about my personal uh, stuff as as we uh, as we spoke last time, and uh, now I'm keeping even more distance. I would say, but I feel safe in that. And uh, I decided for that to because of uh, of the constant uh, turnovers of the energy from positive to uh, or positive from from her expressing uh, love to me to her expressing uh, I would say even hate sometimes, <laughs> and uh, I I don't want to uh, have have these swings, so I decided to keep um, more distance, or and uh, and told her that that we need to learn uh, to respect each other without without uh, necessarily. Uh, expressing love to each other. I don't know how to translate it exactly, but this would be the picture. <clears throat> we understand what you're referring to. Would you discern that this, if you will, permission slip is assisting you in your process? Yes. <clears throat> yes. It, is, it is assisting me because I'm, I realized I'm allowing myself to be more of myself while I'm not with her, while I'm not spending as much time with her. So I realized I'm, I'm in the flow. And uh, I believe we are both learning to know that we are a whole <coughs> without the other. Well, in many ways, we can confirm this idea simply because also this is how, if you will, this is what most of you are learning at this time. To understand that you are, as you mentioned, whole and complete and the entirety of your own reality unto yourself. As we mentioned, all that is contained within your own heart in this way. <clears throat> yes. And now, uh, would you be able to comfort me to know that, that everything will be all right? Because I, I yes. I've answered myself. I really know I'm preferred. I'm preferring to know that, that it will be fine, that, that we are not really separating. Or well, the idea from our perspective is that, in a sense, everything always will be quote unquote all right. It very much depends on your perspective, and in that sense, to what way you may be attached to different ideas within your own reality. 
<clears throat> and of course, from the ultimate viewpoint, everything always will be all right. And we would also ask you not to assume that in whatever way you are continuing this particular relationship, that no matter what exactly happens, any process, if you will, can serve you. Any process can be defined by you in a positive way. And this may, within itself, serve double duty. First of all, it may give you the best, if you will, pathway to allow a harmonious and positive communication with that entity. At the same time, it can allow you to simply know, as we had mentioned, that you are whole and complete unto yourself. And in many ways, would also encourage you not to assume whether you actually know on the grandest level, let us say, what is actually best for you and truly be discerning about mm -hmm. your own processes and your own potential attachments or also in particular, your own belief systems and any and all belief in precisely this idea of a separation. For even if you were to separate or even as now you may say that physically speaking, for this particular moment, you are separated. You are not in that sense in the same physicalized room. At the same time, as we had mentioned, there in actuality, just as there is no space between you and us, there can be no space between you and her, if you can follow. <coughs> yes. Wonderful, yes. Yes. Ah, thank you, thank you. And we thank you. We are really good. Yes, that's all from me. <laughs> well then, we thank you for the invitation to this particular communication. And we bid you a most joyous, exciting, and wondrous good day. <laughs> thank you. Good day to you. We thank you. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I'll stop the recording.